Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and I'm here today to do my TBR for the Hemisphere Christmas Games. So <laughs> this is about to start. It is a readathon I am co-hosting with Mel, Helen and Kat and I will link my announcement down below along with all of their channels. So I thought that I would, I should I should actually share my TBR. This is long and filled with entirely Christmas books and I don't anticipate getting to everything here but I would like to get to as many as possible. We're gonna see how that goes. I don't really have a plan for this. Um, I have literally two off my own TBR and then everything else is Kindle. Uh, so let's just jump in. Let's start with those two ones that I do own. I've even got my little Christmas mug out already and I have Percy about to come and cause some trouble. So let's jump in. First one I have is Holiday in Death by JT Robb, also known as Nora Roberts. This is the seventh or something book in the in death series you haven't seen a video yet but you're gonna see a video next week or in a few days i don't even know um and this will make more sense as to why i am hoping to read this one in this week so i don't really have anything else to say about this you'll 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 see soon that's all i can say and then the other one i have is Twas the Night After Christmas by Sabrina Jeffries. This is the sixth and final book in the Hellions of Helstead Hall series. I started reading this series last year and then I took a really long break and I just sort of got back into it in November. As I'm filming this right now I still have two more books or one and a half <laughs> that I need to read before I can even pick this one up but I'm hoping to be able to finish the series this month and be able to move on with some of the other Sabrina Jeffries books that I have in 2023. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the ebooks that I have. Uh, so I'm going to break this down into, uh, sorry, my laptop is over here, which is what I'm staring at. Uh, I have a few that I own on my Kindle and then a bunch that I'll be getting off KU. So I'm going to start with those ones that I do already own. Uh, the first of which is a more actually, this is a bunch of, uh, this is an anthology of holiday romances, not necessarily Christmas, I don't think, um, but there may be one or two Christmassy ones in there. And they're all written by Litinax uh, authors. This one was on my Read My Kindle picks for uh, my final solo round and um, I need to get to it. So I had been saving this one uh, specifically for this readathon. So I am excited to get to this one and I hope I really enjoy it. I've only read one of the authors in here before who is Alexis Daria. So I'm really excited to hopefully find some other romance authors that I will enjoy that I can pick up in 2023. Uh, next one I have is actually a audiobook. Uh, I got this one off Libro FM and that is Whiteout which is by Donnie L. Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, Angie Thomas, Nick Stone, Nicola Yoon and who am I forgetting? Is that all of them? I feel like there's six of them and I'm forgetting someone. Anyway, uh, these are the authors of Blackout, which I read earlier this year, and this is the like Christmassy one. Um, so I have that and I may listen to that. I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping to get to it. Well, yeah, 
I don't have the best <laughs> um, track record with listening to audiobooks so we'll see how I go with that one and then I have Wrapped Up In You by Talia Hibbert which is a Christmas one that she did with Kobo so I got that one I think it was two years ago maybe three and I haven't read it so I thought this is probably a good time to do that um, because otherwise I will just probably not read it uh, and then the other one I have is The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lease, which is also one of those Kobo originals from last year. Uh, so I did read this one last year and I loved it and I am hoping that I may have the chance to reread it. Um, yeah, I, I really want to do that. So. I may end up slipping some of these other ones out to reread that instead. But let's get into the ones that I will be getting off KU. So there's quite a few of them. I just basically went through the list and put a bunch into a Christmas wish list and then written them all down here and we'll see what I get to. Some of these I am more excited for, for than others. Um, most of them I know absolutely nothing about. So, cool. But let's get into it. First one I have is Eating Her Christmas Cookies, which is book one in the Frost Brothers series by Lena Jacobs. I think I saw this one going around a little last year because of that title. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'm gonna possibly give it a go. It looks kind of cute despite that. Next one is Resting Scrooge Face by Megan Quinn. This is one that I think is going to be higher up the list. I've just been seeing a lot from Megan Quinn lately and I really want to give one of hers a go and since this is a Christmas one seems like a good one to start with at this time of year. Next is The Geek Who Saved Christmas by Annabeth Albert. This looks really cute. This is a male male romance. Yeah, but yeah, this one looks cute. So I've put it on the list and we'll see. Next is Kiss the Girl, which is a book in the Creekfield Kisses series by, Mel by Melanie Jacobson. Little confused as to what number this is because the numbers on Amazon and the numbers on Goodreads are completely different. So I do have another book of this, which I thought was the first book on my KU already. It's not a Christmas one, um, but I don't know. I don't know what which one is first, but <laughs> I think I may try. I'll just try one of them. I'll start one of them and see if it says in the book which one to read first, because I'm one of those romance readers who likes to read books in order, even if you don't have to read the books in order. So there's that one. Next is Booked for the Holidays, which is book one in the Park Cove series by Chelsea Curto. Uh, know absolutely nothing about this one. Uh, next is Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. That sounds like it could be fun. A little bit of revenge story around Christmas. Um, I'll give it a go. Next is Christmas Baggage, which is part of the Christmas Escape series by Deborah M. Hathaway. I believe this is a series with multiple uh, authors, so every book is by a different author. And I believe this one is also a clean romance, which is usually not my jam, but it's on there. And if I get the time, again, this isn't going to be super high up on the list. Next is 25 Reasons to Hate Christmas and Cowboys by Elle Thorpe. So um, back in October, I went to a romance event with my best friend Angel and Angel bought a bunch of books from Elle Thorpe who was there and uh, got them all signed. And as we were talking to her, I saw this one there and it kind of grabbed my eye. Uh, I've never really read a cowboy romance before <laughs> so I thought I would try it on KU rather than buying it and then if I do enjoy it 
uh, I may go and pick up some other things from Elthorpe in the future. I'm hoping I do, and Angel seems to think that the, there might be a few that I would enjoy. So looking forward to that one. Next I have Eggnog, Mistletoe and Noah St. James, which is the first book in a Holly Jolly St. James Christmas series. It's a long one by J.S. Copper. I'm not sure if that's meant to be Cooper, but I mean the covers will be up here anyway. And um, Percy is making trouble again. Yes, again, this one had a cool cover. It's mostly the reason that I put these ones that I didn't know anything about. Um, on my list is they had cute covers and I'm a sucker for a cute cover. Next is Frost by Ava Ross. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. Uh, this is an alien romance. Uh, the only thing on this list that isn't contemporary. Um, I guess Holiday and Death isn't really, well, it's definitely not a contemporary romance. So I, I have two things. If I get a bit sick of the wholesome Christmas vibes, I can do some death and some alien porn. So that should be exciting. And yeah, I'm just, why not? Why not? Why not do some aliens, you know? Uh, and then finally, I have Scrooge and the Girl Next Door, which is also by Melanie Jacobson. And I think this one is a standalone from what I can tell. And I thought if I enjoyed those other ones, I could read this one too. Uh, but that's it. That's, that's everything I've got at the moment. I might find some other ones. If I get the time, I will definitely try and reread uh, Love Light Farms by BK Borison, which has been my favorite book of the year. And if I get the, an excuse to reread it, I will but I do also want to try some other things so we'll see how we go with that but that is the end of it for today I'm sure I will read like two of these things and then other things but well, here we are that's it so I will see you all next time uh, I hope you're all excited if you're joining in with Hemisphere Christmas games this year I can't wait to see what you're reading and doing and all that kind of stuff and I'll see you all next time. Bye!